<laughs> Alright, say whatever you want. <laughs> Boston. Boston, come here. <laughs> Hello, this is Chef Pez right here, and today we're making something delicious, rhubarb crumble. One of the things that we can't forget is, you know, the rhubarb. Eat the rhubarb. Come on, let's go. Go, go get some rhubarb. <laughs> pull the whole thing out. So there's um, flour, oats, butter, and two sugars, brown sugar and white sugar, and we have our rhubarb. To stir, we have to wash our hands and wash the rhubarb. So let's start with washing our hands. Maybe we should probably do this. So it makes like a bathtub. Get it? We have to dice up the rhubarb. Be very careful with a knife. Some people like it just like this, but what I like to do is add sugar and flour. Two, one more, three, and let's do this one. Rhubarb crumble with so much sugar. <coughs> we need a metal spoon to mix it up. You just want to make sure all the rhubarb is coated. And we'll just set that aside for now. Now we're done with the rhubarb part. Now we're on to the crumble. So we're going to mix up oats, flour, brown sugar, and butter to solve it. And all the flour now. All the flour. Sorry, did that make a puff of smoke? <laughs> we already measured it, so. Now we're going to mix it up really good with a fork. You see the oats and the flour. I feel like we're actually going to mix this up until we only see the oats and the flour, actually. Now it looks like it's well mixed, um, uh, the light ingredients. Uh, now it's time to cut in the butter. It's actually kind of melting. But that's okay. To cut in the butter, you have to use your hands, a fork, or that thing. Sorry for blocking it, I'm just 
There we go. One second. I'm going to mush it in. As you see, it's well mushed in. Just kidding. I meant just kidding. It's well made, it's really good. Now we're gonna preheat the oven to 360. Bake. Mm -hmm. Three. Six. Zero. The crumble's done now, let's put the rhubarb crumble together. So I'm gonna put the rhubarb at the bottom and the crumble at the top. So, I know this is gonna be kind of boring of you watching me, but it's good. All the sugar melted. What you actually want to use a lot it's a huge spoon instead of a little spoon. Because a little spoon doesn't do that much. Look at how much that does and how much this does. Very different. Because I'll use my, you know, Sometimes it has to be a little flat. This is definitely not enough crumble that I'm putting on. So is that one all done? Yep. That's what it looks like when it's done? Mm -hmm. All right, next. If I tricked you with the, with the pants and you thought it was too, it's I think this is YouTube, so... Wait, is the comment down below? If you got tricked with the pans, just comment down Woo! below. Tricked Woo! with the pans. Comment down below! Mm -mm. And also, comment down below if I tricked you with the pans again. Look at that. You know, I'm out. One, two, three, four. The next step is to put them in the oven. I didn't look at my fingers, so. Beautiful rhubarb crumbles you made. Thank you. Let's get them in the oven. For 40 minutes. Be very careful opening an oven. As you see, it's very hot, but it warms me up. Now we're going to bake them for 40 minutes. Well, usually when you cook something, you have to clean it up, but I have to get Dad to do the dishes. Just kidding! Brown sugar. It's melted in the rhubarb crumble. This is how you make a delicious rhubarb crumble. Um, uh, make sure to subscribe. Bon appetit. It's bon appetit. Um, uh, it's really delicious with ice cream on it. You can even do it cold. And make sure to subscribe. Uh, bye, and make sure to scrub some other of my videos too. Bye. Come on, enjoy. Good appetit. Make sure.